Hello everybody, and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. The question of when humans first reached the Americas has been a subject of much discussion in recent years, with dates being pushed further and further back in time. There was the claim that human footprints that were found in New Mexico date to 21,000 to 23,000 years ago. There was apparently a human occupation site in Chile dated to 18,500 years ago, and a site in Texas that's said to date back 20,000 years. For every news story and YouTube video about these sites, the soundbite things keep on getting older is seen more and more, and the last few years have been an exciting time for archaeology. But a new study that's published in the scientific journal PLOS ONE has put a dampener on all these new claims, as the authors reject the new theories that point to humans arriving much earlier than 14,200 years ago, which has long been stated. Of course, the view for many years was that hunter-gatherers crossed the Bering Strait from Asia to the Americas around 12,200 BC, when large amounts of North America were covered in ice. From there, over time, people migrated south through the Americas and settled accordingly. The new finds in recent years turned the idea on its head. And, for many of us, the prospect of people in the Americas thousands of years before previously thought was quite an exciting prospect. But scientists now say there is a big misinterpretation of archaeological evidence, and this misinterpretation has led to the emergence of contradicting theories. Professor Todd Suravel and his colleagues developed a new statistical method of analysis called the Apparent Stratigraphic Integrity Index, or ASII for short, and this was applied to all the sites that came before 13,000 years ago, both north and south of the huge continental ice sheet. To use the words from the paper, the ASII method involves modelling stratigraphic mixing of multi-component archaeological sites to identify signatures of stratigraphic integrity in vertical artefact distributions. To put that in basic terms, they looked at how mixed up the sediments were, the sediments where we find evidence of human activity. A low level of sediment mixing points to accurate carbon-14 dating, as deeper, older layers stay below the evidence of humans i.e. there is a clear datable horizon of human activity. A high level of mixing means that signs of human activity is more jumbled up in the sediments. There is more vertical distribution. The signs of human activity are mixed up with older sediment, including older datable carbon, making it appear much older than it should be, i.e. there isn't one clear datable horizon of human activity. The results of the study show low mixing, and hence high stratigraphic integrity at sites in Alaska, where we find strong evidence of human occupation. But sites in the south below the ice sheets that show earlier human occupation show signs of artefact mixing through multiple time periods, making the human occupation a lot more older than it should be. Two sites in Texas and one in Idaho, all of which produced evidence of pre-13,000 year old human activity, were juxtaposed against sites in Alaska, Wyoming and Pennsylvania, and all three sites showed clear evidence of stratigraphic mixing. The study says, if humans managed to breach continental ice sheets significantly before 13,000 years ago, there should be clear evidence for it in the form of at least some stratigraphically discrete archaeological components with a relatively high artefact count. So far, no such evidence exists. They continue to say that sites that show evidence of human occupation south of the ice sheet before 13,000 years ago are few and the supporting data has been poorly disseminated. Basically, stratigraphically speaking, there isn't a site south of the ice sheet that shows clear evidence of being earlier. This all means that either A, humans did not reach south of the ice sheet before 13,000 years ago, or B, 
human behaviour pre-Clovis was very different and unusual. Option A is obviously more likely. Of course, this study is not definitive and conclusive, because as we know, that's the nature of archaeology. New discoveries are made all the time, and the field is evolving constantly. And if a discrete archaeological occupation surface is found south of the ice sheet, and this is dated to before 13,000 years ago, then fair enough. Nobody can argue the point if the results are scientifically sound. This isn't impossible, and the ASII method of study is not a watertight mechanism, but for now, we should look at the evidence fairly, and in an unbiased way. The Clovis first hypothesis is something that's been refuted by both archaeologists and independent researchers for decades, as more and more evidence has been coming to light for human occupation before 13,000 years ago, with most thinking that humans likely took a coastal route around the ice sheets to reach the southern lands. In this video, I'm just reporting a new story about a new scientific paper. I'm no expert on the matter, not by a long shot, but the scientists that wrote the paper do seem to believe there is still no solid credible evidence for human occupation south of the ice sheets before 13,000 years ago. The longest archaeological debate in history looks to have been reignited, and I would love to hear the thoughts of the experts, and if there is any official reply or rebuttal, I'll be sure to report it here on the Ancient Architects channel. This news story hasn't led to a great deal of discussion just yet on social media, but with many people being so vocal over the years about the age of the first people of the Americas, I do hope to see some debate and discussion in the coming days. And if you're watching this and have an opinion, please download the paper that's linked in the description, read the discussion and the conclusions by the scientists, and leave your thoughts and opinions in the comments section below. But if the dating methods employed in the South are from mixed sediments, how can we use it as credible evidence to rewrite history? So for now, if the scientists are correct, it looks like that things just keep on getting, well, younger. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.